Going on YouTube, Plover Bells here back with another Scarlet Violet video and today we're actually going to do some Regulation H battles on the cart but only on the casual ladder of course because the live ladder is not quite up yet. And the reasoning why we're doing this today is because this is a team that I made uh, during a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with someone uh, and they reached out, Draxos uh, is the name of the person by the way, and they reached out and they said, you know what? I want to build Backscaloper Clover. Can you help me build a Backscaloper team? And I said, yes, we can. And this is what we came up with. Uh, and if you want to know how the squad came to be and all the EV spreads and whatnot, uh, that'll be in the end of the video when we have another timestamp. Uh, so if you are more interested in that rather than the battles, click the timestamp and then you'll understand how the process came to be and what uh, the team that you see uh, on your screen uh, is all right so but basically i just wanted to you know build the team uh centered around back scalloper strength so you know i wanted to put it in snow because of the defense boost so alola nine toes comes in and then after that uh you know i just wanted to build a fire water grass core you know with Volcarona, rillaboom and tauros these are proven uh throughout right now the early stages of regulation h and i really like Volcarona, so i figured you know back to Volcarona is something that uh, was strong back in the earlier formats of Scarlet and Violet and I wanted to bring that back again uh, for Regulation H. So how do we support it? Um, you have Fake Out Pressure with the Rillaboom. Then after that you have Goldango that can also set up Nasty Plot behind screens. Ninetales is great at controlling weather against the Pelipper teams of course and then the Tauros uh, again gives you that Intimidate option to make the team even more bulkier. Uh, and then at the same time, you know, you have the Mirror Herb here, which is pretty good because we can copy some of the Dondozo stats there. But also pretty good into the Annihilate stuff too, because again, um, you know, even if the Annihilate does get a boost when we Intimidate, we get to copy that as well. So we also get that plus one boost at the same time, okay? Now, arguably, you can definitely put something like Clefable here instead of the Ninetales, uh, you know, with Unaware, which will help, uh, you know, a little bit into Dondozo as, at the same time. But, you know, I figured we can manage... Uh, the dozo matchup a little bit based on what we have here all right so that's the team uh hopefully we can showcase it a little bit in the casual ladder and again if you want to know how i built the squad and how the evs came to be click the timestamp uh and you'll see how the the squad came to be all right but for now let's just go straight into the rank uh sorry casual battles we're playing wolf click his name is wolf <laughs> but unfortunately he is missing the oh my goodness i i, I almost got excited for a second Oh wait, there's a Zamazenta. That, well, I mean, he's got Arcanine. We got a couple wolves on his team. All right, so we're playing the imposter wolf click here. Okay, so he's got one restricted. Can we manage? Uh, Volker are looking pretty good to an extent. Um, Screens for sure. He doesn't really, can't really stop my screen. So, you know, I can always just do this. And then, at the same time, does he bring the RK9? Thomas Zenta also a little bit of problem. I can, oh, well, I think what we want to do is, I want to reposition here. I can do this, right? And then bring in the Raging Bull, intimidate a lot of what he has. And then in the end game, do I bring in Bax? Kind of weak to Zom. I think Goldango is not too bad either. I think Goldango has to come at the same time. But also Fake Out is really good. Problem is I'm not really doing too much damage into some of what he has with Rillaboom. So I think this is okay. Oh, he's got Urshifu too. Hey, that's banned. Can't be using that. So we're at a bit of a disadvantage, but we're going to make it work. This guy did not get the memo that Regulation G is done. Oh my goodness. Look at that trainer card. He's petting the Zamazenta. All right, let's see if we can beat a Restricted here, along with Urshifu. Amoongus Arcanine. I figured he might have to bring the Arcanine here. Um, so, that being said, uh, again, screen's going to be important. And then again, Corvid S as well. So, here's what we want to do. We're going to click the screens, obviously. And I don't want to go for the Terra Grass because there's an Amoongus but at the same time do i have a choice so here's what i want to do i'm gonna do the screens first i'm a screens okay and then we'll protect this turn okay because next turn i want to bring in the the you know the tauros potentially or i can spam blizzard ideally but then i can also spam 
Blizzard. Again, I'm gonna spam Blizzard next turn, but I want to bring in the Taurus. I can't really quite set up the bull because he led the Arcanine here. So we're gonna protect first. Let's see what he wants. Alright, I want the screens first, so we do get the screens. Alright, what does the Amoongus do though? And he clearly didn't click Rage Powder. There's the Flare Blitz. Uh, he goes into the Nine Tails. We live. Okay, and is it going to be a Spore is the question. Uh, it was a Spore, and it was going into the Volk slot. Okay, so that being said, now what we can do is go into the Bull, and now we can Terra Grass, and now we can go for our Quiver Dance, okay? It's a bit risky to do this in front of the Arcanine, but behind screens and Intimidate, this is the whole point of the team. We should be able to out -bulk this. And then try and put on pressure with the bull, kill the Arcanine, and then also heatwave the, the Amoongus. This is the idea. Alright. So here comes Bill. Buffalo Bill. I would imagine that's the reason for this name. The reason why he came for it. So, we intimidate the Arcanine. Good. It's not clear. Amulet. Alright, that's us. Going for Terra Grass here. Sometimes I like Terra Dragon. For, for reasons like this. But... You know, again, Spore Immunity is still pretty good. You know, at the time, you can go either or here. So let's see what he does. Alright, Quiver Dance. Okay, if he wants to Spore, he can't do it anymore. Does he want the Nine Tails KO? I would imagine so. Let's see. Play Rough! Oh my god. Okay. But that didn't do that much. Alright, and he does click Spore in the Volk Runa Sound. Alright, so this is good. So now, what we can do... And he didn't commit the Terra just yet. So we can still click Raging Bull here. He can always redirect with the Among Us. That I understand. Um, so we can still do that. But I still want to put on pressure with the Heat Wave. Let's see. Does he commit the Terra now? Okay, he's just going... Wait. He helping handed the Among Us. What? Excuse me? Wait, it lived? Oh no. It's Citrus. Wait, I'm so confused. The Arcanine helping handed the Amoongus. You saw that, right? Not the Wait, what are we doing? Hold on a second. What is this? Is this is this straight Pollen Puff here? Oh, okay, it's just Pollen Puff. Alright, that, that shouldn't do anything. Yeah, we're, we're, we're chilling. Okay. There is Raging Bolt. This is also totally fine. So, again... What I can do is protect it. What, what does he have? I, I can always bring in Gold Dangle, technically. Um, the Among Us is annoying. So what I can do, I can try and close combat this thing, or I can close combat the Raging Bolt. But I want to protect first and still click Quiver Dance just right in front of everything he's at. He's going to withdraw the Among Us. This could be literally a free Quiver Dance. There's the Zamazenta. We should outspeed that thing now because we got a free quiver dance here. And I can switch the bolt, uh, the, the bull later. And he might have to commit the Zom. Okay, he gave me a defense boost. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so I got a defense boost. I'm going to protect this turn, of course. Just in case he wanted to click Thunderclap into that slot. Alright, which he did not do. Okay. Alright, and what did we do? Is it Draco? Oh, Draco. Oh, we eat this. Bro, we have screens and we have Quiver Dance. We're, we're chilling. And now he's minus two. Okay, so honestly, now we can just pressure here with close combat. Because I'm pretty sure we just live everything now. And we can even Giga Drain too. Yeah, I'm gonna just Heat Wave, bro. Oh, okay, he protects. Good, good protect there. Alright, so, I mean, you're minus two. This is a plus two Heat Wave. Raging Bolt should still eat this relatively well but again this is still decent damage oh that's pretty decent honestly oh we got a crit can i get a burn no burn all right now is it an electric move into the bull is the question all right oh it's volt switch oh we should we eat this okay but into what yeah arcanine we took care of the amoongus there's the amoongus uh, we did not take care of the we took care of the Arcanine. all right it's just amoongus again the Amoongus lived on one. I was very surprised. The snow stops. This is fine. Again, um, we can always reset it later. But at the end of the day, we have heat wave pressure. The, the bull is also here. 
He's, he's going to have to commit the Terra. So here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to click Protect first. Okay. And I'm still going to click Heat Wave here. There's a lot of things that... You know, he's got to commit the Terra now. Okay. He did not. But why? This is just Heat Wave killing everything. Yeah, we, we win. Yeah, I, I don't understand this. Where was... No, no Terra. No Terra Zom. I'm very, very confused. Is it the Bolt? Bolt's not going to save you. Alright, there, well, there's Bolt. Again, we've completely walled him out. So, you know, again, I'm going to just click close combat. Y you know, again, just a lot of damage. And I'm just going to click Giga Drain here, get more recovery. I don't know what else he wants to do. You know, truth be told, I have a Goldengo in the back too. You can only kill one of us. So I'm going to just do this. And I'm a Giga Drain. This is still going to do like decent chip here. Thunderclap comes out. All right, you went for the Bolt. I could have also clicked Quiver and went to plus three. But I think, again, Terra Grass Giga Drain should still deal a decent amount here. Oh yeah, Raging Bolt is also bad. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, this is still good. We can beat all these mods now. Again, more recovery. Okay, and now here comes the Ninetales. Um, again, I'm going to get the Roar Veil up for Gold Dango, or again, we, we just win by just clicking Quiver Dance. Okay, so here we go. I actually, you know what, I don't even need to. I'm going to just spam Blizzard, good night, and if anything, I'm going to just win the 1v1 here. Battle was cancelled. Should have did that a couple turns ago, but no tear on the Zom to stop the Heat Wave. Alright, we beat the Imposter Wolf Click. All right, we got Dropo Saw. What is this? Okay, this is actually legal, but it looks like it's someone's in-game team. I forgot this is what happens when you go into casual. All right. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Well, another interesting game for Volcarona. It's got an Amphrost there. I don't know what that's supposed to do. So. Yeah, man. Like, Volk looks so good here. I'm gonna get up screens. I mean, okay, he's got Clefable Snorlax stuff, right? Maybe it's just like Belly Drum shenanigans, but we can mitigate that. And if he wants to do that, then I'm gonna copy it with this. So, go for it. <laughs> All right? And then in the back, what do I want? Uh, I guess backs. Even, oh, even like Rillaboom looks good here to an extent, right? Yeah, we'll do it like this. Fake out pressure. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that team's... It looks, it just looks like someone's in-person team. Alright, uh, in-person. In-game team, I should say. Alright. But, that is what they're, what they're running. We'll either get, you know, teams like that or we'll get like restricteds. All right, Slowbro Clefable, what is this? All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm gonna do screens, I'm gonna click Quiver Dance and let's see what happens. So Aurora Veil here and I'm gonna, bro, yeah, I'm gonna just click it, let's see it. There's the follow me. I'm following you, but nothing's coming in there. All right, Aurora Veil comes out. Is it gonna be Trick Room? If it is, it doesn't matter. I click Quiver Dance anyway. All right, see, it doesn't matter if you click Trick Room because, again, I'm getting all these special defense boosts. Can't break it. Okay. All right, there's the Trick Room. Listen, I'm going to click it again. You know, and it, it doesn't matter after that. You know, maybe I get a couple freezes here. So I'm going to just do this, and I'm going to click it again. You can't break this Volcarona. I've got my screens. i got a Quiver Dance up. What are we doing out? All right, there's the Swap. Is it Snorlax time? It's Shout. It just might be Snorlax time. Oh, it's Ursa Luna time. All right, well... Oh, he went the Encore route. You could have Encored the Quiver Dance. All right, so there's the Encore there. All right, but we have Rillaboom. We got another Quiver Dance here. We're Encore locked. Again, so now we're going to have to switch. I can't click Blizzard because the Encore locked. All right. So, we've got the Rillaboom swap in here, and I can literally click Protect. Oh, he can even lock me in there. He, he can do that if he wants, but 
I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna pressure him. And if he does, if he hits the bull corona, if he targets it, then it's a free swap into my ruler boom. Okay? So, he has to think about that. But let's see what he does. It could be follow me. Alright, it could be Encore again. There's the Terra. Again, I would expect Encore Blood Moon is my guess here. Wait. We should live this. Again, we have screens. We're plus two. I would imagine I lose about half. Let's see. Is it Helping Hand Blood Moon is the question. Oh, all right. It's just Blood Moon, but no Encore. All right. We should eat this then. What's going... Is it going into the Naito slot? Oh, yeah. See, look. That does nothing, right? And now we can Giga Drain this. All right. I mean, he goes for Chilling Water. That does nothing, obviously. So my attack fell. All right. He procs my berry, which is good, I guess. All right, and now we just Quiver Dance this thing. I mean, uh, Giga Drain. Plus two Quiver Drain. Oh my goodness, look at the power of Volcarona, bro. You are not encoring anything anymore. Okay. Heat Wave gonna come out here. All right, so we're gonna fake out this thing so he doesn't do that. And literally, I, I will... I will click Heat Wave. All right, fake out comes out. All right, feel free to... You can't even go for your Blood Moon anymore. It's just Hyper Voice. That does way less damage. Yeah, that is nothing behind screens. All right, you enjoy this Heat Wave, buddy. All right, we do miss a target. All right, but the one that needed to die was the one that needed to die. All right, so this is fine. All right, my Heat Wave did miss one Clefable, but again, still fine. Now you can encore lock me into fake out, but we're, we'll be ready for that as well. So we'll see what happens here. All right, and for us, that doesn't do anything. Okay, uh, I mean, I'm gonna I'm just do it again. So if he's clicking encore, then means my bulk run is also pretty safe here. So honestly, look, I'm gonna just click wood hammer and I'm gonna just click heat wave. What are you gonna do here? Follow me, that's not encore. All right. Well, Meteor Beam, oh no. Okay, we should live. This is non-stab, we're plus two, and there's screens. Okay, Volk is gonna be good. Guys, guys, Volk, Volk is so good, okay? Oh, <laughs> Volcarona, so good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Clefable, you eat that, but are you gonna eat this heat wave? Ah, there it is. All right, that's good, that's good. Okay, he's got the slow bro next turn. Again, we have Ginkga Drain pressure. The snow stops. My Aurora Veil is gone. That's okay. I can always just swap back in my Nine Tails. Again, left the the grassy terrain recovery. But how many turns of Trick Room? Yeah, all right, there, there it's gone. Now we can just play Ginkga Drain, and we're just chilling here. All right, so I don't even think I need to swap here. Okay, I think we just click Grassy Glide on this slot here, remove the Ampharos, and just click Ginkga Drain over here. And we should be good. Okay, battle was canceled. Nice try, my guy. Okay, this is actually a regulation G team. Okay. Um, oh my god. All right, so it's Mouse Ape and um, Arkeladon, right? So that's one of the teams you have to play against. He has Grim Snarl screens, it's Pelipper as well, and there is a Serena. Okay, so Ninetales does have value here. Uh, Volk could be okay. It depends. Uh, so again, the Annihilate makes things a little more interesting. How do I want to do this? I do have the Nine Tails to change weather. So I could do that. I can set up screens. He can bring in the Pelipper to deny it, but then he makes my things stronger. So honestly, I'm okay with this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do nine tails and this thing, believe it or not. And you'll see why in a second. Mouse ape, huh? Okay. And then in the back, I think Volk can be good. And then is it Goldango as the answer or is it Backscalibur? Backs could be also nice. Goldengo 2. I'm gonna go with Bax. 
lock it in. Let's try this. All right, so let's see what happens. So if he wants to bring in the Pelipper to deny my Aurora Veil, he's going to make my, my Raging Bull strong. Which is fine by me. So he has a decision to make. All right, Mouse Hold Annihilate. All right, pretty standard. I figured he might do this. So we'll give him the Defiant, but we'll also get that plus one boost as well. All right. And we do have the, you know, the screens available to us. All right, so there's our plus one. So Mirror, so good for this. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go Aurora Veil. Now, we can also technically catch him and say, look, you can swap in your Pelipper now. But if you do that, I'm going to go Moonblast. So do you really want to do that? So is it really time for Pelipper is my question. I could, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make him bring out the Pelipper. All right, I'm going to do Raging Bull here into the Annihilate. You can even protect her. I think I just want to remove the Mouse Hold, honestly. Like, it, it could be something. Yeah, see? He's sweeping it. He's, he's going into the Pelipper. This is still okay. I'm okay with this. I don't have a problem with this. All right? There's the Pelipper. I, I really wanted to Moonblast the Annihilate here, but he might have just protected. There's the Protect, okay? So good play from our opponent. So we always got to respect the play. But again, look at this. So this is still good. This is still a plus one Raging Bull here. All right. Yeah, there's the Pelipper slot. Oh my goodness, that's so much damage. All right. Now, here's the other thing. Okay. Uh, I still have... I can still pressure this Pelipper. Again, at the end of the day, like there's still a Moonblast that can come out here. All right. And I can still remove the Annihilate. Yeah, like I can do, I can do this. You just protected, and I do have the Grass Terra available to me. Okay, I can Aqua Jet too. So, how do I want to do this? I could swap technically, and go into Volk, and literally just Aqua Jet him. This should be enough. Alright, so we'll swap here. He could just protect also. But what does he do with the Annihilate? Does he just do bulk up? He could. Alright, we should pick up here with... Uh, oh, he swaps it! Because he figured I would swap it too. So then what takes the Aqua Jet? Arca oh, smart play there. Okay. Yeah, he's going to resist this. Alright. Well, there is the stamina. It was good play from our opponent. I like that. There's the Rage Fist. Again, he's plus one, too. Is it Volk? All right. It's just uh, the stuff. Okay. That being said, um, again, we can pressure that Arkelid and we can force the Terra now. Um, I would like to ideally Quiver Dance here. In front of the Annihilate. Yes. All right. And click the Close Combat now. I can also click Raging Bull now. So... How do I want to do this? It's tough. You could do it over here and just remove the now. You could even just protect this turn too. I would give him the boost if he clicks Electro Shot. He might even account for the Nine Tails coming back in. Does he swap in Pelipper though? He's gonna Terra. Okay. This is probably like Grass or Fire or something. Yeah, it's Grass. I don't want to target this thing yet. Okay. So I'm basically trading him here. But I, I am faster, so I know that for a fact. So Raging Bull comes out into the Annihilate. Goodbye, Annihilate. That's good news for me. Okay, if it's, you know, Electro Shot, sure. I'm a Quiver Dance. It could have been Draco. But the Toro's getting good value here. Let's see where it goes. It's Electro Shot, but into where? Was it Bulk? This is why I Quiver Danced. All right, where are we going? Let's see. Yeah, it is into the Bulk. All right, so um, still fine, but I don't want to bring in the Nine Tails just yet. I do have the Quiver, so that's good. Plus one. Now you're weak. Now you're weak 
to the Heat Wave. I'm gonna bring in Bax now, because I know he might have to not bring in Pelipper just yet. We'll see. All right, here's Bax Caliber, now he knows. All right, it's Mouse Hold. Okay, this is still fine. All right, question now. There's two turns of rain. Um, I can still Quiver Dance again and just protect Bax this turn. I can also click Icicle Crash. Okay, but I'm just gonna protect first. Bait out another potential, you know, Draco or something like that. Yeah, there's a follow me, that's fine. All right, it's just, you know, where are we going with uh, this next target here? Here's another QD. Okay. Now what? All right, he went for body press, that's fine. Okay, now, here's the trick. There's one turn of rain left. Okay, now this is where we go for the heat wave. All right, we I would need to hit him, okay? And now I'm gonna swap into Nine Tails. Let's see. Let's see if he brings in the Pelipper now. But if he does, then then he won't have the weather later. I will outspeed. Okay, there is the snow warning. Did he bring in the Pelipper now? No. All right. So then enjoy this heat wave. All right, we do a connect. See you later. Oh, everything lives. Oh my goodness, that's not good. Wow, even plus two. I gotta make this Volk a little bit stronger, but he did go for Electro Shot, so this is still fine. Like, at the end of the day, this is still, like, okay. Now we can just, you know, do whatever we want, you know, again. So I can Giga... So here's what I want to do. I want to just Giga Drain this slot. Right? And then Moonblast over here. Right? You can bring your Pelipper... Uh, yeah, yeah, see, we outplayed him. The key was that there was one turn of rain left. Okay, and if he brought the Pelipper in then, then he would lose the rain for the rest of the game because then I, the rain would expire. He's stuck. So that's why I, I, I swapped in the Ninetales that particular turn. All right, playing Hammy. Look at this. All right, Bikeable, the Teacup, Insin, Rillaboom, Goldengo. Oh, baby. Well, once again, <clears throat> he does have double fake out. Um, he can't quite intimidate the back scalloper. I can intimidate him. Um, I don't want to bring out Volk immediately. I think Goldengo here could also be pretty good. Just with like nasty plot setup. Because there is another Goldengo on his side. Alright, ah, let me think about this. <clears throat> let me see what this entails um can't really stop my weather like honestly what's stopping this from you know me, me going for my screens and Volcarona setting up right i mean there is incineroar of course but this is why we brought this guy right and then in the back um whatever i want right could be backs yeah we bring backs in the back same four I don't need Goldengo yet. So we'll, we'll run it like this. Let's see what he does. Alright, Instant and Pulti, guys. Is that fake out Trick Room stuff? Okay. Alright, so... Um, he could parting shot the Volcarona too, right? So, honestly, I'm gonna just click my Aurora Veil, and I could protect. I don't want to get faked out and parting shot it already, but he could fake out my Volk, but then it's free screens. Honestly, I'm gonna just do Quiver Dance. Like, well, what, what is the harm here? Fake out Nine Tails. Well, that's not gonna work. All right, Aurora Veil. Now he knows I'm Covert Cloak. Free Quiver Dance. I don't know what this multi guy is supposed to do. Maybe he clicks Trick Room. Who knows? Okay. And let's see it. What is it supposed to be? Shell smash! Oh no. Okay. This is still fine. <laughs> okay. You're real sharply. Alright. Um So let's see. 
What is that? Oh, it's the white herb, right? Okay. Um, I could... Okay, here's what I want to do. I want to go... I want to pressure with this guy, and... I want to protect this turn. Let's bring the Ninetales back out. Let's intimidate that instant... Intimidate. Okay. And let's see what this Pulte guy is supposed to do here. Okay. I think it's a physical attack. I'm not quite sure. But he did Terra. He Terra the Ensign. It's Terra. Is that fire? Bro. Alright, well, I'm gonna kill that <laughs> next turn. But I'm curious to see what he did. Alright, here's the Protect. Good job, Helios. Alright, what's the Shell Smash thing supposed to do? Shadow Ball. Alright, it's a special attacker. Bing! Okay. Did the instant double target? Or did he just go for the Nine Tails here? Flare Blitz. Alright, he's going into the bowl. Okay. He ran into the bowl. That did no damage. Okay. So, he Terra Fired. So now, we go Raging Bull here. Kiss him goodnight. And I QD again because I saw he clicked Shadow Ball. Swaps instant. Okay. He committed the Terra Fire. What's going to take it? Inteleon. That's fine. We clicked another... Quiver Dance, we can Giga Drain that thing. Any okay, he has Giga Drain as well. I see, good play there from Bill. But we do the same thing. All right, Quiver Dance, and we have Giga Drain as well. All right, so now things get a little interesting. Okay, we do have the Ninetales here. Uh, I can do this. I can also exert pressure with the back Scalloper, just in case that thing is Sash. We can always Giga Drain the Inteleon here. Um, but yeah, I just want to shard you. Okay, Terra Grass. And I do want to Giga Drain this slot. Get rid of this Pulte guys here. If you are, he's already committed the instant. He could swap that, but then he lose all the boosts, right? So it's up to him. He's already committed the Terra Fire and the instant. Terra Fire instant. All right, here we go. Another Volcarona Terra Grass commitment. All right, how fast is this Pulte guys here? So first we're gonna Ice Shard. Potential, oh my goodness, we get a crit. That's good news for me. All right, Giga Drain, nice Shell Smash, bro. Okay, Snipe Shot all you want. We should be good. Oh, he disabled my, oh, that's not good. <laughs> he cursed bodied me. That's actually not good, but We'll see. It's Taunt. Okay, he taunted me. Oh, that's bad. Uh-oh. Alright, now here comes Insin. But... Just still be fine. Taunted me. I'm gonna have to just click Heat Wave. Uh, I can click Glaive Rush here. Um, I kinda just... I can Protect. He can just... Ah, he probably just fakes out the, the thing, right? So I'm just protect here. And I'm gonna have to just go for it, right? I, I, I'm i I'm cursed. And I can't protect here, which is kind of funny. <clears throat> I am taunted. So, Heat Wave. Coming in hot. Alright, protect. Probably fakes out um, the backs. Yep, he does. He has to. Otherwise, the Inteleon drops. And we still do a good damage here with Heat Wave. Okay, we missed something. Ah, oh, that's the one I wanted to hit. That's bad. Okay, Snipe Shot. All right, we should eat that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Snow Stops, still fine. Aurora Veil also gone. Um, now we can click Glaive Rush here. Okay, and we can click Giga Drain. Oh yeah, I'm still cursed, right? Um. Yeah, I'm still... I mean, honestly, this is still, like, fine. All right, we missed again. We missed the instant this time. Now we'll hit the Inteleon. That's the one I needed to hit. And we burn it. Okay, that's good. Okay. And it's Ice Beam. That's doing nothing. Okay. And here's the Glee Brush. Okay, perfect. Now, if the instant went Flare Blitz, I don't think I live. <laughs> but it's fine, because we have more than enough in the back. There's the Flare Blitz. Alright, Volcarona, you did your job. This is still fine. And this is going to be like a ton of recoil for the instant anyway. And this is the only option he has left. 
So, the, the teacup did its job, but didn't really get much value out of it. And now I end him with the Hail Duo. And this is probably where he clicks the floor. Oh, he still has got another Pokemon here. It's Rillaboom. Okay. All right, I mean, still fine. Okay, we've got a job here. Um, we're gonna get up screens. He can't, he knows he can't fake out the nine toes. He probably just fakes out backs. What is that? Grassy seed? Okay, Rillaboom's defense. Oh, that's big. Okay, honestly, if he fakes out backs, I get Aurora Veil up. Otherwise, Glade Rush looks really good in the end game here. Um, so I'm gonna make him quick fake out. Okay, and I'm gonna just get up my screens. So, do your worst. He doesn't click fake out. So, this should be just a free kill on the instant then. Oh, it's Drain Punch! Okay, but again, the Aurora Veil and the Snow Boost. Drain Punch Rillaboom, bro. Okay, that's a set. But, that set is not enough. Rocky Helmet Instant. Alright. Some interesting tech choices, but we should be okay here. Uh, now we can just spam Blizzard, and we can spam our Ice moves, and we should be good here. Okay. Uh, if anything, I can click Protect this turn, right? And then just deal chip damage first with the Blizzard, because, um, you know, just in case I miss, but this should still be, like, fine, right? I think it just cancels. Protect first, just in case he wants to click Drain Punch again, or Grassy Glide, or whatever he wants to do. Oh, okay, he targeted correctly. Um, so here's Blizzard first. Oh, that's more than enough. That's not Assault Vest. Oh, and we give him the freeze. Listen, I can't think of a better way to end than that. The typical Clover freeze, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and Bax is going to close this out here. Volcarona did a lot for this video, and Bax also closing this out. We're going to give him the Ice Shard here. And just for the lulls, I'll give him the Icy Wind. All right, Ice Shard, Rillaboom. See you later. Good night. Definitely was not Assault Vest. <laughs> All right. So there it is. Okay, we played some some we played some squads on the casual ladder today for sure. All right, so now that we showcased it in some battles, now I'm gonna show you how we built the squad here in terms of our EV spreads here. So starting with back scalloper, uh, again the the viewer right Draxos wanted to build a squad with back scalloper. So this is what we decided to do. So standard set with crash glade brush and ice shard, just a little bit of priority move in general. But the EV spread here, this speed investment. Uh, up to 120 again that's just for you know outspeeding and speed creeping uh modest pelipper there and then after that i went to the third bump in adamant nature which is again 196 i put the hp at 208 for optimal grassy terrain recovery you know with the rillaboom and then after that i just went for like even numbers you know with the you know to match the the plus boost from the snow and then also another again after that i was just left over dump into special defense the nine tails here um, I just went max speed timid just to be, you know, as fast as possible. I went to 176. Again, you know, another factor of 16 benchmark for the grassy terrain recovery. The same thing can be said with Goldengo and Volcarona over here. You can see they're both at 192. That's, again, another factor of 16 under grassy terrain. But after that, again, just one point in special attack, not really meant to do damage. Uh, and just going for, like, these even numbers here uh, for the Aurora Veil in general. The Goldengo here... Um, I went to 130 speed, which outspeeds Timid Pelipper. And then after that, I just went to the first benchmark in the Modest Nature, which is 176. 192 uh, HP, like I said, and then the rest just went into defense and spit death, right? So it's a pretty bulky Goldango behind screens, uh, you know, because we have a lot of HP investment and we're decently quick. But we're not max speed, right? So just pay attention to the speed tiers if you do play against another Goldango mirror. Rillaboom here, just like back Scalloper, hitting that adamant 196 third benchmark number. We put his own HP, like we said, at 192. Um, 115 investment, uh, well, 115 stat in the speed, that just outspeeds the max speed Blood Moon. Uh, you know, the ones that are under Tailwind, you know, we won't, we always want to outspeed the Blood Moon in the, at the end of the day. Then I just went to a base stat of 100 here for the Assault Vest. Again, a nice solid even number to optimize for the 1.5 boost. I don't want any odd numbers here because then it just rounds down because it's a decimal after you multiply it by 1.5. So keeping this stat always at an even number with the assault vest gives you the best bang for your buck. Then after that, I was just little dump into defense over here. 
Well, Corona, the star of the show, more or less. Uh, again, uh, we already talked about the HP here. This speed investment, this outspeeds Modest Gold Dango. Uh, so, you know, max speed Modest Gold Dango. So that's what I wanted there. After that, the first bump in just modest nature. It's a super bul bulky bulk Corona here. So, uh, you know, max HP, a little bit of defense investment, coupled with Intimidate, uh, makes the bulk Corona a little bit hard to remove, especially behind screens. You kind of saw it in the video as well. Uh, and then, you know, just quiver dancing just gives so much value overall. But you can kind of see what I was going for here. Dragon, Fairy, Steel, Fire, Water, Grass all together. Paul Dian Toros, again, we got to see the Mirror Herb Showcase against the Annihilate there. Um, just straight Jolly 252, 252 there. So max speed and then, you know, uh, plus one attack uh, if we do uh, run into the Defiant Annihilate there. And, you know, Raging Bull was doing so much damage. Uh, so, you know, it's... You know, it's a solid move there. And then, of course, close combat here, you know, just in case. Terra Grass as well, getting around uh, Among Us stuff. But that's the team. So hopefully you understand the spreads. And again, if you're interested in building a regulation H squad like this, uh, feel free to sign up for coaching on the channel. Tier 3 sub gets you a one-on-one -on -one Discord call with me where we can, you know, sit down, build the team from scratch uh, for whatever needs you, you need it for, whether it be like local, a ladder, uh, or just, you know, maybe you're trying to prepare for Baltimore. We've got you covered. Uh, and something like this where for Draxos, he was able to get top 16 in a pretty decently large tournament, you know, 100 plus people. So, you know, he never really used back. So, you know, the squad just works out uh, and he did a great job there, you know, with that 6-3 result. So good job, um, Draxos. Thanks for making the rental. Now you guys have it as well. So just go back to the beginning of the video, you know, feel free to try it out and let us know how you do. Um, but yeah, that's it. We'll be back with another video in the next one. Peace out and have a good one.